Okay, so continuing on, like just a couple of things I've done is I've given this a blue background for the content, that a dark blue, put debug and put content there just so we can see what's happening. Um, I got rid of the pop-up because that was working last time and that was just I commented that out. My main.css, I gave the con a width margin auto to center it, a minimum height and a background color and the debug console width height um, and color font height and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah. So that's that's all that. So um, going back to our um, inventory system, um, we've we've got these things here. So um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create a couple of items as a dic um, as a dictionary, and then I'm going to put them in the list, just showing you how. Um, that sort of stuff works. Now, I um, have got this in a GitHub um, repository. Um, so sign in and year 19. So the, this repository. Um, so where I was up to kind of um, in class was I had just done this like so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all this um, and I'm going to explain it. so that's going into Dreamweaver and it's going straight into my main.css <coughs> okay so what we're going to do is we're going to create um, and I might actually put this in here, so at the top, uh, sort of bit of our design. Um, so I wouldn't leave that in there, but our inventory is going to be an array, list of things, push and pop. We use a for loop, pick up, add, buy, sell, and we've got some stuff there. Now inventory is an array, and we could say something like this. So I'll just hide this over here. Um, just if you're wondering, you can use that. So, um, so comments, double slash. No, um, inventory could be declared like that if we knew what was already in it. But we're going to declare inventory as a um, empty array. Um, now, for this, I'm going to declare create a money as a dictionary. Oh, that was something we didn't have before. So money could be declared like that if we had starter money or something like that, but we don't. So then I'm going to create some stuff to put into it. Now I haven't created the items, I'm just doing the inventory at this stage, and we'll go through um, creating things. So I could have done, um, like this is what we're actually going to do, do it as an item, but just to start off with, we're just going to red, blue, green potion. How much money do we have? We have 20 gold, we have 200 silver. Now, we did say money was a dictionary, associative array, so we go money, and then the key, so this is the keyword that we use to get the value, and this is this variable here. So my gold money is equal to 20. My silver money is equal to 200. And then, um, as I said, we use push to put things into our inventory. Push, 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 push. And then we put our money in there. Now, to display items in our inventory, um, we use a for loop. And for loop has this um, formula. So var i and i is a variable we're declaring that exists within this for loop so it only exists within this for loop here um, and we set it to zero and we're going to run everything in this for loop so in this block of code here and while i is less than the length of our inventory so one two three it's four things in it so inventory.length is 4. And then this here is we're going to increase our counter i by 1. 
So each time we go through this, i becomes 2, 3, 4. And then i is equal to that, so it's not going to do uh, when i is 4. It's going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, and then finish up here. So this here should be... I'm going to put this into content. So our message... So, and um, it's going to go into our content here. So, so message equals document and get element by ID. Well, this element get me that element. So, all I'm saying is give me that element, and then we're saying that that element, that inner HTML. So everything inside there is equal to whatever exists in there plus a break, HTML break, there's a string, and then we're adding in our inventory item. So first inventory item, second inventory item, third inventory item. So, and I'm just going to add in, so plus is inventory item number and I'm going to go plus i. So it should say potion 1, which is red potion, is inventory item number 0, because it starts at 0, 1, 2, 3. So let's save that, go back over to our inventory thing, content, red potion is 0, 1, 2, 3. So this here is a bit of a interesting one because it's not a string, so um, it doesn't have a representation that we can actually display nicely. Like it's an object, but we know it's a dictionary. So what we're going to do, and this is where I got up to um, the beginning or the end of the lesson, is what we do is like because we know it's an object, we're going to go if the type of inventory i is equal to object, we're going to get the key of that and we're going to do it. So let's have a look at how that works. Um, and it's JavaScript, it's type of, and this is where doing multiple languages at once is really annoying. So save that and object. If type of is equal to object and to get rid of that. Gold undefined, silver undefined. Ooh, so money inventory value equals what did we say it was? Gold um, is inventory item that key um, is inventory money think uh, let me th let me think about this one um, let's have a look at this so we're getting that key is for each key in inventory item I we're going to say value equals inventory item i and then we're going to grab the value of that and that will tell us that. So that was me freestyling yesterday and I was a little bit out but this is the correct way to do this. So uh, just tidy this up And that one goes in, that one goes in, and that one comes back. Okay, so if the type of that is equal to object, and we know that because we printed it out, and we know that um, we're expecting it to be an object, so we're testing for it. So if this is true, we're going to go for each key in that object. 
So we have money is our object. So we have one, two keys. We, for, so for each key, so we have a variable key. So key one is going to be gold. Key two is going to be silver. We're going to grab the value by using that key. And then we're going to add that into our HTML. So we're going to say add a break. Then we're going to put the key in. So key, gold, and silver. And look, I'm just, I can go gold and I can go silver. Um, save that. So that will change those. And the value, um, let's give us some more gold, 200 gold. And capitalize that. So we don't actually want to, um, like, so we're printing that out. But we don't actually want to do that because we like we're doing this check after we've printed it. So what we can do is we can actually move that down and do that first. And then um, so if it does that, print that. Else we're going to print it as normal. So if it is equal to that, we're going to print the key and the value. Otherwise, we're going to print this one. So that is kind of what we want. So that's our inventory working with really basic things. So we haven't got, we've kind of got an object here, an item, but we really haven't got um, any of this stuff happening here. So we're going to, we're going to um, create a inventory that is going to be a, um, we're probably going to create it as a dictionary and then we're going to store these things in the dictionary and then we're going to have an array as part of it and then we're going to write some functions through that now if I was doing this I would be using classes um, and I would be um, probably um, doing it slightly differently but I'm trying to teach how to use arrays and dictionaries so that's an explanation of that I'll quickly go over this bit here one more time um, so this this stuff at the top um, is just setting things up this is the main bit here so for um, in, when we iterate over a array we do it like this so we need to go from the first item which is item 0 all the way up to the um, last item but we don't want to go to the past the last item because um, it won't be set and we'll get an error. And then this here, just make sure that we're incrementing it. So we grab our container to put our message in. Then if it's an object, so and the object is our money, we're going to grab the key value. Otherwise, we're just going to and print out the key and the value. Otherwise, we're going to do it that way. So I'll leave that there. We're going to go through a couple more inventory or items and things like that. We're going to probably delete a fair bit of code and we're going to rearrange a bit of code. But um, we're going to go over it a couple more times. So I'm going to pause this one now or stop this one now. And I'm going to go through it, um, go through um, sort of getting this functionality happening um, in a second. So let's see how that goes. Thank you for watching this and I'll see you shortly.